Hey guys, so um, I just posted another video yesterday about uh, this micro crawler, rock racer, whatever, sand racer. And uh, it was just to test the tires to see if they would actually work on some sandy conditions, I guess. Uh, they worked really good. The sand wasn't super dry, but it was dry enough that you know we could see whether they could work or not, and it, it did good. Um, the files for these tires are free. You can get them at Thingiverse, my account on Gammy RC. And um, you know, you could have them like this where they're alternating, or you could swap them to where they're straight paddles, and you get different performance out of it. Now, uh, from the video yesterday, I wasn't really happy in the way it looked uh, as far as speed goes. Um, I've already mentioned that I wanted to put a brushless motor in place of this uh, brush motor and said that I had to make some changes to the mounting plate and move some things around to make it actually work and I decided just to ditch the lossy transmission altogether um, I'm not going to be using that one but, uh, instead I'm just going to go ahead and swap the whole thing and use this so you know going with the same design of uh, our other micros um, I went ahead and used these Orlando uh, gears and built this little transmission for uh, the brushless motor. This is a 118 scale uh, Toro uh, micro brushless motor, 6100 kV. It can run up to 3S according to them, you know, safely. I have run it at 3S and it's really fast. It's uh, comparable to the ones that I have on my 110 scale, they're both, you know, 6100 kV. Now, um, this, even though it can run on 3S, I doubt that I'll be running it on 3S because, uh, honestly, I don't think that these axles will be able to take it. Uh, I'll be running it on 2S, see what kind of performance I can get out of it, and if it's not what we want, then I'll go to 3S, but, like I said, I really don't think these axles can handle it, but we'll find out soon enough. Uh, let's see, I'll do a real quick test here. Um, this, obviously, is an open case. Um, this right here would be the cover and uh, let's see it goes over it like so and of course you you know screw it in but it's a really small transmission case and I wanted to make it as small as I possibly could so that obviously it wouldn't take up any you know extra room inside of the chassis as it is it actually even though it's a little bit taller, it takes a lot less room than the lossy transmission because of the width of the lossy transmission. Plus, the, the actual mounts for the drive shafts are a lot closer than the lossy transmission. So I could play with that as well. Um, just to give you a quick view of the gears running. Obviously, I'm not going to try to make it go super fast because if I do, it's just going to make the gear just fly out. <laughs> So let's see. Go ahead and turn that on. All right. So yeah, wait for the ESC to do its thing, and then let's see if I can make it go slow. So you can see everything works fine. And a closer view there. Now I put four mounting holes for the motor in this design because I figured uh, the more mounting holes the less vibration and uh, the more contact you're going to have to the plastic piece because it's going to be 3D printed and uh, that will give you less you know, warping of the part and everything under hard conditions. So this is it. I mean I'm going to go ahead and mount this like right now. <laughs> and. Um, Hopefully I'll be able to take it out to the place that I took it yesterday to run and I'm hoping that uh, the little car is going to take the abuse. Like I said, I mean there's there's some weak points to these micros. I mean uh, taking care of most of them, uh, that transmission being all metal gears, it's obviously going to take care of that metal gear issue. Dry shafts are metal. These are the WPL drive shafts, and like I said, they're metal, so there shouldn't be an issue. Uh, now the axles, 
and the actual points back here, the little dog bones, that's the ones that worry me because these dog bones have broken before and I don't know how much you know they'll be able to handle but we're going to test it and if it works it works, if it doesn't work it doesn't work and we'll try something else but let me see, I'll put that in there. Ah. Oh, obviously, if I put it backwards, it's not going to work. Okay, there. So, let's see if we can get a view there. So, it's obviously a lot faster <laughs> than the other setup. So, so, we'll see what we do. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll go ahead and try to get this running and hopefully get some videos out there for you guys to, to see. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, I'll keep posted on what's going on.